Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Well, today we're looking at 10 and 11 here in Psalm 79. Hasn't this been a wonderful psalm? We've had the complaint section, verses 1 through 5, the request beginning there in verse 6. We're still in the request. Today we have something rather unique. Uh, We have a quote that we're going to read, and that comes from the enemies that are reproaching uh, the Lord and destroying Jerusalem. Verse 11, we're going to read that some more request. Then tomorrow we'll take up the praise. See what the uh, how the psalmist ends this particular psalm. Well, let me read for us verses 10 and 11. Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is their God? Let him be known among the heathen in our sight, and by the revenging of the blood of thy servants which is shed. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee. According to the greatness of thy power, preserve thou those that are appointed to die. All right, well, we looked at now 11 of these verses, and we see we're still here in the request text section. You'll notice verse 10, Wherefore should the heathen say, quote, Where is their God? End quote. Now, we've had that question before, and we're going to have it again. We had it in let's see, Psalm 42. Let me open my Bible up here. Psalm 42. Here we go. Psalm 42. Verse 3, my tears have been my meat day and night, while they continually say to me, Where is thy God? And then in verse 10, as with a sword in my bones, my enemies reproach me, while they say daily unto me, Where is thy God? So you see, we've had it there in 42, Psalm 42, and we also have it in Psalm 115. So, of course, we're quite a bit of ways away from that yet. But here we have it in Psalm 115 and verse 2. Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is now their God? Of course, this, in that psalm, the psalmist replies, But our God is in the heavens. He hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. <laughs> but here we have the question again. Where is their God? Why should the heathen say, Where is their God? So he's making a request. He's saying, God, come and you know, help us. Pour out your wrath, your your on the heathen. Come and help us, save us, deliver us, purge our sins. Why should the heathen say, "Where is their 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 God?" Let him be known among the heathen and in our sight. So he's asking God to come and move. Let him be known. That means you know, pour out your wrath by the revenging of the blood of thy servants, which is shed. And that of course points up to verse three. Uh, the blood they've shed like water about, round about Jerusalem. There's no one to bury them. So it's a very gruesome scene. He's referring to that again. Revenge this blood, O God. So the, still the request being made. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee. Remember what we read in Lamentations chapter 5? Here it is again. So they are, they've become slaves. They've become prisoners. You know, they're just trodden under the foot of whoever this is that's attacked them. According to the greatness of thy power, preserve thou those that are appointed to die. Notice again, this is not according to our goodness or our position with you or our you know wonderful righteousness or none of that. According to the greatness of thy power. See, again, he's leaning on the only thing he has. He's leaning on God's mercy. He's leaning on God's name. He's leaning now on the greatness of thy power. He knows. So he just asked God, do this, not for us, but for your sake. Do it for your sake, according to your power, because you've done it before. So this is the psalmist making his request to the Lord and doing it in such a wonderfully biblical way, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, we will, um, let's see, we're going to come back tomorrow and look at verses 12 and 13. So I hope that you'll join me then here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.